Folks, don't be surprised that this is the most difficult schedule in the Big 12. Texas always schedules tougher than everybody else in the Big 12 almost every season. So the program's been down since getting to the national championship game in 2009. But they show it on the field in regards to still playing big-time competition anywhere. UCLA and BYU, Ole Miss in recent years. This season for Texas with the most difficult schedule in the Big 12. Starts off with a date at Notre Dame. We'll see if the Irish are as good as hyped in the preseason as a top 10 team. We've seen it in the past over the last five to six years where Notre Dame has been highly ranked. I would guess that Notre Dame every year over the last 10 years has been higher ranked in the preseason than in the postseason. So we'll see with the new quarterback if Notre Dame's really that good. But for this Texas team that went 6-7, and seven, really didn't beat anyone of significance. I think the best win was West Virginia. Other than that, they got humbled by every decent or really good opponent, especially the uh, Texas Bowl against Arkansas. What was supposed to be a, a fair matchup, an even matchup, uh, turned out to be a 31-6 loss for Texas. Deplorable on offense last year. Let's see what they can do this season. So it's not just the Notre Dame game. They also play Rice, which is a... Decent opponent if it's not your best opponent. So Texas gets uh, some some kudos from me there because then they also follow up with the date against Cal. Now, Cal was deplorable two years ago, but they had a freshman quarterback in Jared Goff who took a beating but showed himself to be both talented and perseverant, winning one game against an FCS team two years ago. But Cal, last year, 5-7, and seven, very close to pulling off upsets of USC and UCLA, very close to getting to a bowl game. Cal is no joke. They come to Austin with possibly the best quarterback in the country and a slew of wide receivers and Daniel Lasko at running back. Game three, again, Cal, after taking on Notre Dame and Rice. Texas would do well to go 2-1 and one against those three out of conference. Okay, after that, it's Oklahoma State and TCU, Oklahoma, Kansas State. So the beginning of the Big 12 stretch is not a cakewalk. Talking about the Cowboys, the Horn Frogs, of course, the Sooners, and the Wildcats. It eases up from there before it's the date in Waco on um, championship... Uh, Saturday for the rest of college football with the conference championship games. For Texas, it's a date with Baylor. They hope and pray that a conference championship is on the line, but we highly doubt it. Respect for Texas, scheduling tougher than anyone in the Big 12. We've run through the Big 12. We've got the Pac-12 to go. Then we throw them all together and rank them 1 through 66. Right here on Mark Rogers TV.